your big day. Are you ready? Because I don't think I am. You always had a way of being the center of attention, didn't you? I love you, Joy. But I have to be honest. I think I hate you in this moment. And I know you didn't choose this. I know you fought really hard. But in the end, here we are. And I can't help feeling like you left me cleaning up your mess again. I mean, where do I go from here? How do I hold it all together for everyone else when I'm barely holding it together for myself? You have a kid, for heaven's sake. I'm supposed to be the cool aunt, the one that takes her shopping and gives her too much candy and lets her stay up too late. I'm not supposed to be her mom. She needs you. It's not supposed to be this way. It's wrong. And yet, here we are. The situation is what it is. God, you made me so mad when you used to say that. What kind, of, what kind of talk is that? Something you said when you were too scared or too lazy to fight, I used to think. But I'm starting to get it. Sometimes there is nothing to fight. The situation is what it is. And you can scream and curse, cry, beg, plead. But what has changed? Ultimately, God is in control. And like it or hate it, his will will be done. I think I hate him a little too. I know that's blasphemy or whatever. But is it any less wrong if I feel it and don't say it? We prayed for healing. We prayed for a miracle. And you're gone anyway. It's not lack of faith. I know he could have healed you. But he chose not to. And that's what's hard to accept. He chose to let you die. And I know you had made your peace. And I know you gave Christ your life. And you were ready to go. But I'm not ready for you to be gone yet. There's a hole where you used to be. My joy is gone. <laughs> Literally. Tom must think I'm losing it. Last night he came in and I was sitting on the bed with my Bible, laughing like a lunatic. I couldn't help it. <clears throat> I was reading my Bible for something, anything to hold on to. Randomly flipping from verse to verse with no help. And there it was. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Really? The joy of the Lord is my strength? Are you kidding me, God? In case you've forgotten, you took my joy. You gave her cancer, and you let her slowly waste away while the rest of us had to watch helplessly as she slowly wasted away from our life piece by piece. I don't have any joy now. There's just this pain and loss, and I don't see anything to be happy about. So where's my strength coming from now, God? And then I heard it. You know that still small voice they're always talking about? I heard it. I said, joy, not happiness. And then I can't explain it, but there was this peace. And I still hurt, and I still had grief, but the despair was gone. And I remembered how your face would shine when you talked about Jesus. 
and I remembered how the waxy gray color of your skin would fade away as you would pray in those last days. How at peace you were when you, when you finally let go. I miss you, Joy. And sometimes the hurt is so strong I can barely breathe. But I know where you are. And I will have joy. And I will have hope. I get it now. The joy of the Lord is my strength. See you soon, sis. <laughs>